rewriting with the common denominator. Let's look at the fractions 2 thirds and 1 fourth. If I wanted to add or subtract these fractions, I would first need to find a common denominator. That's as easy as finding the LCM. If you're not sure how to find the LCM of two numbers, check out my video on LCM. So the least common multiple of three and four is 12. So I'm gonna put that here and here. Now I just need to figure out how to find the top number, my new numerator. So looking at my denominators for the first fraction, three times what would give me 12? Four. So I have to multiply by the same number on top. When you create equivalent fractions, it's really important that you multiply by the same number on the top and the bottom. Let's look at 1 fourth. 4 times what is 12? 3. So I have to multiply by 3 on top as well. 1 times 3 is 3. And now I've rewritten both of my fractions with the common denominator 12. But what if it's more than two fractions? What if I'm given four fractions and I have to put them all in order? Just need to find a common denominator first and then rewrite my fractions. Now, finding an LCM of four numbers is a little trickier than finding an LCM of just two, but we can use the upside down cake method and it makes it a little easier. So I'm gonna write my four numbers here, five, 10, 125. And I'm gonna think of what number I can divide into all four of these with no remainder. So all four of these numbers are divisible by five. So let's do it. Five divided by five is one, 10 divided by five is two, 100 divided by five is 20, and 25 divided by five is five. Now there's no number that goes into all four of these, but 20 and five are both divisible by five. So I'm gonna divide just those two numbers by five. 20 divided by five is four, five divided by five is one. And since I didn't divide the five into the one or the two, I'm just gonna bring those down. And then I can do a similar process here on this last row because two and four are both divisible by two. So two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two, and I didn't divide the ones, so I'll just bring those down. To find the LCM from this, all I need to do is multiply the numbers that are on the side and the bottom. So five times five times two times one times one times two times one. I don't really need to look at the ones, right? Because multiplying by one doesn't change anything. One is the multiplicative identity, which means that when you start with a number and you multiply by one, it equals that number that you started with. So I'm gonna multiply five and five to get 25. And then I can multiply this two and this two to get four. And 25 times four is 100. So I found my common denominator. Now I'm gonna put it in place. So I need 100 here and here. This one already has a denominator of 100, so we're set on that one and here. Now let's find the top numbers. So to get the top numbers, remember we just look at what we would have to multiply to get the new denominator. So five times 20 will get us to 100, which means I have to multiply by 20 on top. Let's look at the next fraction. 10 times what is 100? 10 times 10, so I multiply by 10 on top. And the last fraction, 25 times what is 100? 25 times four, so I have to multiply by four on top, and that gives me 64. Now I've rewritten all of my fractions with a common denominator of 100. 
So if the goal was to put these original fractions in order, I can do that now. All I have to do is look at the numerators and put those in order. So 53 is the smallest. Next in line would be 60, and then 64, and then 70. But when I write them in order, I want to write the original fractions, the ones that were given before I rewrote them with a common denominator. So the first fraction, the smallest fraction in the list is 53 hundredths. Second is 60 hundredths, but the original fraction for 60 hundredths that I was given is three, four, three fifths. After that is 64 hundredths, but the original fraction was 16 20 fifths. And then the largest fraction here is 70 hundredths, and that was given as 7 tenths originally. So here are all of my fractions written in order from least to greatest by rewriting with a common denominator.